Thank you for joining us. I'm Naiba Reynoso. Ahead, LA County kicks off Pride Month with a historic tribute. A popular beachside trail gets a makeover and turning a light on mental illness. But first, a special exhibition at La Plaza de Cultura y Artes honors the legacy, artistry, and pioneering life of former County Supervisor Gloria Molina and her many contributions to enhancing our civic life. Here's more. When uh, Supervisor, former Supervisor Gloria Molina announced that she was in this transitional moment of her life, we knew that we needed to um, find a way to honor and celebrate her. We immediately put at the altar, which is an important part of our culture. Now this is the house that Gloria built, we, we say. It was her vision. Um, many years before we actually even um, opened our doors. Um, so in 2011, La Plaza, you know, officially uh, became a county cultural institution. But it was because she knew that Los Angeles needed a place, um, historical place, to tell the stories of Mexicans and Mexican Americans and all Latinos. She was from the community and of the community and by the community, and you hear that a lot. But she demonstrated it every day. You can walk over to. Gloria Molina Grand Park, next time you want to sit on a pink bench. It was Gloria's vision to create an open green space for Los Angeles. The extension of the Metro line into East LA. The work that she did at County USC and La Plaza. So her legacy runs deep. She was this really powerful, strong politician, and she was. But she was also a mom and a grandma and a friend and a sister. And you see it in her artistry, right? She was a quilter. From afar, you look at it, and it's this, this rose. And then you get close up, and it's a fist, right? It's just, yeah, it says everything about, I think, who Gloria Molina really was to her community. We have two of uh, Gloria Molina's quilts. We're going to frame it and take very good care of it and put it up for permanent display. And then um, we also created an opportunity for the community to come in and a space where people can actually talk about how she inspired them to, to do good in, her, in their own communities. And so the Community Quilt of Hope, which is um, an, folks can come in, fill out a fabric square, decorate it, put words on it. So the quilt that, um, the large quilt that we have here is called Corazón, and it actually is a large heart with wings, and on one side it's Los Angeles, and the other side it's Puebla, Mexico. Um, and it really does tell the story of Mexicans and Mexican Americans here in Los Angeles, right? She will always be watching over us. You step into La Plaza and you know it and you feel it, and this just is a visualization of that embrace that we all will feel, because it's comforting to know that She's still here with us. A group of veterans will soon have the keys to their very own home in the Antelope Valley. Here's more. The word homeless and veterans should never be in the same sentence. We are here to celebrate six families that received the key to their new homes. It is about um, providing them with a home, but also providing them with the pride of ownership and for understanding how blessed we are to have veterans in this community and how important it is for veterans to have an opportunity not only to live with dignity that they earned. Never thought we were going to be able to have a home out here in California to stay close to family. Thank you, Homes for Families. Homes for Families is not just about the veteran who has really sacrificed so much to keep us safe, but also for the families, the families that have been there to support them. It's amazing, I can't wait. Yeah. I don't want to pay rent anymore. I'll be paying mortgage. Yeah. I am definitely here to support and encourage everyone that comes out to volunteer their time to give back to uh, the veterans that have given so much to this country. Thank you to everyone that sponsored and everyone who helped out. <laughs> Woo! 
May Gray will soon make way for summer sun and the Marvin Browdy Trail will be a favorite destination for fun seekers. The trail was recently reopened after extensive safety upgrades. Thank you so much for coming to join us and celebrate the improvements for our bike and pedestrian path right here on Will Rogers Beach. We are here today on Marvin Browdy Trail. We are launching it. We're so grateful for the work of Public Works, Beaches and Harbors, and everyone who worked to make this trail possible. It's a very positive impact for the community to make sure that, uh, that it's connected, to make sure that the infrastructure that's needed to keep people safe while they're biking, while they're walking, while they're rollerblading, um, along the beach that we make sure that we are providing the resources for people to do so safely and enjoy the beach to its fullest. We really, really do appreciate it. I love this new bike path. I have been waiting for months to see the completion and it couldn't have turned out better. Thank you. The Department of Mental Health is hosting a series of events to promote wellness and link residents to services. Here's more. We are using these events to bring mental health awareness to communities, connect people with resources, and help them know what they themselves can do too to be a part of the solution. And all together, we are putting on over 400 events throughout May and into June. Mental health is everything, and it's important to take care of yourself, mentally, physically, emotionally. So if you're struggling, I think it's important to ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Hey, go to Real Honda Mental Health, right here in Cerritos, and um, it's, it's helped me. It's helped me learn how to cope with uh, things and try to be more positive. I've been homeless before for many years. Uh, I was in a shelter, and now I have my own place, and I'm doing better can't have health without mental health. And at the end of the day, mental health is a social justice issue. We think that everyone in our county should have equal access to really good quality, appropriate mental health care. That must be I thought it would be a great opportunity to give back to the community that helped me so much along my journey. They helped me pretty much pick up from being homeless on the streets of Los Angeles, Orange County, and they gave me treatment and allowed me to recover. I'm going to school now. I graduated from Sri Hills College. This the past year, I transferred to USC to pursue a master's. It doesn't make you any less of a person. It doesn't make you any less valuable to this planet that you have an illness. But once you're aware of that illness, you can then take the steps necessary in order for you to recover from that illness. I think it's very important to be culturally and linguistically responsive so that you know people um, don't have the additional barrier of something not being in their language or being in um, a setting that doesn't feel culturally relevant to them. So we wanted to emphasize bringing in our community partners to be a huge part of this um, Take Action for LA County Mental Health. Our LA County Department of Mental Health website, which is dmh.lacounty.gov, they can access a variety of resources there as well as a link to these activities. But the specific website that is set up um, for Take Action LA County is takeactionlac.com. Thanks for joining us. As Pride Month officially begins, we leave you with scenes of the raising of the rainbow flag at the Hall of Administration, a historic first. We'll see you next time on LA County Close Up. May this flag fly high and proud over our home, the County of Los Angeles. For the first time in our history as Los Angeles County, a Pride flag will fly high above the Kenneth Hahn Hall of Administration, which is our seat of government. And we're going to be raising these flags at county facilities across the 4,500 square miles that is Los Angeles County. We must bring people together, create safe space, build community, and love one another. And that's really what we're here to do today. Now, our fight isn't over, but this is a very powerful moment for us in our community just to see the progress that we've made. May this flag honor all those who have fought for equal rights. And may this flag forever be a sign that everyone is welcome in Los Angeles County. And I know that 
hate is on the rise, but guess what? There's also love on the rise. And it's here and it's found in LA County by many of us that are, that are with you today. It's our community, it's our families, it's our brothers and sisters, our nieces, our nephews, and we stand as one. The best is yet to come. Don't let hate win. It's important that we use our voices to celebrate each other. We want to be a beacon of hope and light uh, for all those in Los Angeles the County to know that everyone's welcome, everyone's included, um, and everyone has the right to have dignity and respect. And I think this flag shows that.